you you are saying they have arrested Babu Owino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe that you had not uh, complete. Yes. I believe that you had not completed processing the bail. So yes. how have they rearrested him? We have been chased. We, we went to pay cash bail there, and then we have been chased from from there by. Antwerp. So without without paying cash bail, it means that Babu Owino had not yet been no. released. Have they? Re what was to happen is once the court has granted him the cash bail and bond terms, we go to the registry, mm -hmm. we process, we pay. Then he is released. We have been but chased what from the done, registry by a They have these gentlemen from the registry. I have the cash bill here. They have not been allowed to process the cash bill. But they have whisked away Babu Wino. While still in their custody. Because, because they are not. You, you can imagine reason. somebody has because been whisked. And Mr. Okache is here. He has witnessed that. Somebody who was within the jurisdiction of the court. Somebody which the court has admitted to bail. Has been whisked away even without processing the bail. You can imagine why we are degenerating too. Where is the Chief Justice in this country? Where is the Chief Justice? Where is Honorable Martha Koome? Why are you allowing this to happen? Why are you allowing the courts to be defiled by police officers and by the state? Why I, where is Maina Jenga? Why has he not been brought to court? Who is holding him? Where is he? Why can't he be brought to court? What offense has he committed that the court cannot be able to address? I believe even the devil needs justice. Why should you rearrest somebody and whisk him away even before he's processed by the court? Mr. Okach has witnessed that. Then it means, counsel, we cannot even call that rearrest. That is sort of an abduction. It from is the an courts. abduction. It is a, it's a series of abductions. I do, and I do not even think we advocates are safe. But we shall continue. We shall die on our feet and not on our, on our knees. Yeah. And, and in fact, the most important thing that you need to understand is that they are even now trying to prevent advocates in court mm. from executing their mandate. This is our place. This is our office. This is where we work. But cops are being allowed to come and intimidate even advocates in court. It is a very dark day, and I think that's why we, these backstops are the foot, uh, at the foot of Martha Kome. Because she's the one who is in charge and to ensure that these courts are safe for everyone. It has reached a point where, and this is very sad for the media fraternity, we are seeing police officers, well known, coming to court and being allowed access, wearing press, press uh, jackets. And there is an accreditation for press people. So how do they gain access to the courts when they are pretending to be press people? This is already a very serious issue in terms of the administration of justice here. And these are the things that we are saying. It is high time that even the magistrate's court need to know that they have the power to ensure, and they are bound by Article 3, to ensure that the rights of everyone, including even yourselves, the press people, are observed. Police officers are even removing press people the way they want, and they pretend to be the press people. It is not right. You cannot be stopped from accessing the registry, and the court has said clearly here that let this uh, cash bail and bond process be done. Because some of these people are very sick, are, are actually ailing based on even the uh, grave uh, beatings that they have received. And it's not only the second accused person. Actually, all the accused persons were actually beaten. It's only that for the second accused person, it may be more visible. So this is a point where I'm, 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 I'm saying, uh, people are saying President Moi was a dictator. He must be turning on his grave wondering that we have a reincarnation of even a worse regime at this particular point. But we said yesterday, we say it now. Our role as advocates will remain. We'd rather die. We'd rather be jailed. We will stand here. Whoever wants to remove us, let them come. The Constitution will fight for itself. And eventually, it will succeed. Let Martha Kome, let Martha Kome, let Chief Justice Martha Kome. And I insist, let Chief Justice Martha Kome, if she ever hears people, make sure that this place is out of bound for police officers. We advocates, we are not here to demonstrate. Honorable Chief Justice Martha Koome, this is Advocate Dewanjiro, in the company of Advocate Okach, and in the company of Advocate Asha. May we kindly address you to make sure that you make it easy for advocates to practice law within the court precincts. Thank you. Martha Koome, don't allow this place to be raped and defiled by police brutality. We have been brut uh, brutalized this, uh, this, mo this morning. We are not allowed to process cash bill for our crimes. Where do we go to? Martha Kome, where do we go to? Please tell us.
Thank you.